Through six weeks, the rookies were beginning to fully adjust to life in MLS, and media around the league were recognizing their contributions. They got to have a lot of confidence in this young goalkeeper, Stefan Frey. Well, I'll tell you what, you got to give him credit for his, his intensity and his passion here, Chris Pontius. Hey, don't forget, he scored a spectacular goal against L.A. Let's take a look at some of the teams that are getting major contributions from their rookies. None bigger than up in Toronto, where Stefan Fry, the goalkeeper, has done very well, and Sam Cronin, the right mid. Pontius has done well on the right side. He's got a goal and an assist to his name already. Omar Gonzalez, a big addition, six foot five actually, but A.J. De La Garza has also looked to be a very good pickup. Omar Gonzalez. He's been a stud back there. And again, I don't want to heap too much praise on a rookie, but the kid has been stellar. Chris Pontius was getting even more notoriety, becoming the fifth most selected player in week six for the MLS Fantasy Gamers. It worked out well for those who picked him up, as he scored his first career game-winning goal. Oh, it could get worse yet! Kamala on the ground and to finish it off is Pontius! An absolute catastrophe at the back for the Red Bulls! And Pontius prods it home into the empty net! And what looked like three points for the Red Bulls a couple of minutes ago has become zero. Luckily the ball bounced my way on that, that last ball and I was just going for a, a tackle and, and the ball went in the net. It's a, it's a big win for us. We needed that, uh, you know, get us rolling. we got a home game now and we can keep, uh, you know, these wins coming. Steve Zaquani also scored his first ever game winner while adding an assist to his season tally. He's going to get a heck of a round of applause here at Questfield. <laughs> You know, Listen to this yeah, we, for Steve Zakawani. First of all, the team wins the most important. You know, it's cliche, but after two losses, coming back here, we had to get a win. We knew how important it was and managed to do that. And in the process to score and get man of the match, you know, can't complain. It's a good evening as well. Ziggy spoke a lot this week about keeping sustain, sustained pressure, you know, not just to let our attacks die down. And we did that. You know, I think a corner came in or a free kick and we managed to keep fighting and fighting. And the ball dropped to Tyrone. I just kept my distance on the far post. I watched it the whole way. You know, I was convinced I was going to miss, but when I saw it hit the back of the net, I was happy, you know. For the Toronto FC rookies, week six brought about a shocking announcement. The man who took over the team at the beginning of last season has resigned. We've got some breaking news as Toronto FC's head man, John Carver, has announced his resignation for personal reasons. It was a, it was a surprise for me personally. Uh, I'd, I don't know, I didn't even think about that, you know, losing John, John Carver. It was a little uh, sad, yeah, to see him leave because he's, uh, he's a great coach and uh, I really liked him a lot personally. I think all the other team, all the guys in the, other, in the team did, did as well. It was kind of a shock to me. Um, I, I, I knew nothing about it, to be honest with you. Um, but I, th I think it was kind of the same with all the guys. But you know, that's just obviously an introduction to the professional game and people are in and out of jobs quite a bit. So uh, it's something I just got to put my head down and keep, keep working. And, uh, not a lot to affect me too much. Fortunately for me, it's we, we had Chris just step right in, so it wasn't a new guy coming in. There's some guy just moving moving up. So uh, as a team, we're very confident with with Chris and Dasso, and, and we're excited to move forward. Almost immediately after the announcement, they were back on the field for two games, and both players came up big. Stefan Fry managed to earn his first two shutouts, while Sam Cronin recorded his first assist. Obviously, the last two games we got back on track and playing a new formation, so um, things are going well and we've got to keep, keep progressing. In LA, AJ De La Garza was adjusting to a new role with the team after teammate Todd Donovan's return from injury relegated him to the bench. Whether you're a starter or you're on the scout squad, or if you're on the bench or you're not traveling, you want to go into uh, every practice and every game the same mindset. If uh, you're in the B squad in practice, you want to help the A squad. Uh, scout basically the other team that you're playing uh, as best as you can and uh, I mean I think you just go with it. While teammate Omar continues to start, he too experienced some groin pains at Colorado. I felt like I had a great first half and uh, I felt the team had a uh, great first half and we played the way we wanted to and then second half was a, uh, was a uh, different story for me. Um, I think then things were uh, getting in my getting in my uh, head, you know. Like, you know, Clark just uh, taking me for 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 that goal. As Gonzalez considers previous performances, Alexander looks forward to an opportunity for playing time. Really, actually looking forward to it. You know, U.S. Open Cup. We played Seattle before, and um, we get the chance to get our revenge back, and it's going to be a tough game. And I'm really looking forward to get some playing time. We have we have a tough schedule this this week coming up. 
with uh, some players who need rest and we have our rivalry game against Colorado which is coming up. So these are definitely opportunities that we that are looking to play but at the same time we, we are looking to play with a winning mentality, you know. I don't see this as going in to get playing time, I see it as playing to help my team win. Next time on Rookie Life, Off the Field Obligations.